So a common problem that I see with a lot of coaches that run camps is that they struggle to sell them out for the entire week. A lot of coaches, what they do is they will have parents or players come to their camp, but the camp is, there's no commitment to the camp. So the parents essentially can drop off and bring their child any day within the week. So the problem that it has is the, the level of participants or attendance fluctuates throughout the week. You might have one day where you're really busy and then another day where you might only get two or three kids. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sell out your camps completely so that you can make more money and also sell them out in the future using the same steps that I'm going to share with you today. So before we do anything else, check out a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. The video is called The 8 Steps to Dominating in the Football Training Market. Right, So 8 Game Changing Steps that you can implement with your business to dominate in the training market. Right, It's a video that I did. Uh, few weeks back so check it out on our channel but also you can take some of what I shared in there and use it with your upcoming camps as well so the five steps to selling out your football slash soccer camps okay now number one is when I work with coaches and we're looking to sell out their upcoming camps the first thing I do with them is, is I give them a deadline for when the camp is, right? And what I say to them is that you have to be able to give yourself enough time to be able to sell out your camps. So if you have a camp that you're going to be running in a week's time, is that realistically going to give you enough time to market, promote and sell it out in time? So what I say to coaches is I, I always say to them, give yourself at least four weeks maximum time to market and promote to your audience. Now, at the same time, it's important that you have a limited amount of spots available on the camp. A lot of coaches, what they do is they don't have a limit to the camp. They just open it up for as many numbers as possible. Now, that is uh, a way to do it but the reason why I like to put a limit cap on it is it makes your camps more exclusive and when you promote okay, you can create urgency and a need for parents to sign up quickly before they miss out so a good number to, to, to choose is for example 20 if we want to sell out a camp with 20 kids then we make sure that everything in the marketing is we have limited amount of spots or we have only 20 spots available on this camp so give yourself time and limit your camp to a certain amount of numbers so that can help with your marketing and your promotion right the next one is utilizing your social media channels so if you're on facebook if you're on instagram if you're on youtube if you're on twitter uh, now known as X, um, utilize these platforms to promote your camps. So you could create content such as you talking about your camps. You could create uh, blogs that talks about the importance or what or why players need to attend camps to, to become better at at football or or soccer. Um, so use your social media channels to become the authority in the soccer camp space so that when parents are looking for a camp to send their child on they they're going to think to themselves they're going to think to themselves oh do you know what leo is an expert in camps or leo runs really cool camps or leo knows what he's talking about 
So you've got to do the same. If you want to sell out your camp, be an expert and demonstrate to parents, educate parents the importance of them sending their child to your camps. And that's also important for separating your camps from everyone else. Okay? Having a, a specific camp process within the week. Right? It's not just a camp where parents can drop off their child and just get daycare, because at the end of the day, you probably will sell out your camps, but is it the right customers that you're going to be selling that camp to? Uh, will they be customers that you can then convert into more loyal, committed ones? Probably not. Right? You want ones that are serious, you want ones that are more committed, and you want, a, you want ones that essentially they love football. Okay, they love football, they might be playing for clubs at the moment, or if they're not playing for clubs, they're aspiring to play for a team. Uh, those are the type of clients that you want to work with and the customers that you want attending your camps uh, in the future. Okay? But utilize your social media platforms, create content, create videos, uh, share success stories with previous camps you've done, and just make your camps the best and the only place for parents to send their child to. Now the third one is optimize your website. So I talked about previously giving yourself at least four weeks in advance to, to be able to sell out and to promote your camps. Now in that space it's, it's a good way of learning SEO and learning how to create um, either run Google Ads or just make sure that your website ranks high up on Google so that whenever any parent types in local soccer camps in whichever city you're in, your company is the first one that shows up, right? If you're not first, then you're going to be last. So give yourself enough time to be able to learn SEO, optimize your website, so that it's getting shown to the right audience and that you show up first on Google so that when parents look or search for local camps, you know, they're going to click on the, the first five that come up. Okay? It's usually how everything works now. Um, I've been in this industry for a very long time and I've spoken to a lot of parents and a lot of parents say to me that when they search for either football training or football camps, the first five that pop up, those are the ones that they click on. And once they get a bit of, it, of information from the first three, sometimes they don't even go on to the four, four, five. So if your company is ranking all the way in the 10th, then unfortunately parents aren't going to get their eyeballs onto your your website so you need to make sure you're ranking number one and you're first on the list so that you can get parents clicking on your website and hopefully uh, registering onto your accounts okay now the fourth one is uh, hosting free clinics and workshops so something that I did with my academy but something that also when I work with coaches that want to sell out camps is we get them to set up uh, free clinics or free events at local schools. So they go into schools, they go into uh, youth organizations, they go into sports centers, they go into local soccer clubs and they present to them or they offer something in exchange for them to, to present to their audience. So if you're going into a, a soccer club, right, this is why what I previously said is you've got to be different to everyone else. Why is your soccer camp different to everyone else? Because mo there might be loads of clubs in your area that are, going to, that are going to be running camps. But why is your camp different? Why are you trying to get other kids from other clubs to come to your camp instead of them staying in their own club? So if you're going to go into clubs, right, you could potentially put together a free workshop, you could uh, put together a free skills clinic for their team, uh, you could put on a free event for their coaches, so that it's coach education as well, 
and then talk about your camp at those events. Right, we have this upcoming camp starting in four weeks' time. Uh, we believe that this is probably the best camp in this area because we work on this, this, and this, and results have shown that the players that do attend our camps go on to achieve this, this, and this. Right? So you've got to have confidence. You've got to have a, a will to want to get in front of people. You've got to have that, that ability to connect and make sure you demonstrate your skills, your expertise, and it goes back to being the authority, right? Being the number one person that knows and understands the benefits that kids or players attending camps can have on long-term uh, player development, okay? So that's the fourth one. Now, the fifth one is offering early bird discounts um, to players that sign up in advance. So if you've got, you've done all the... All, everything else that I've talked about, and now you're starting to get interest from parents that want to do your camp, you can offer them an early bird discount. So this could be if they sign up before this date, they get 50% off the camp or 25%, right? Depending on how you, you want, or how or what you want to offer, okay? Um, a problem and a mistake a lot of coaches have is when they're promoting this, okay, they don't stick to their word, meaning that once that date has arrived or once that date has expired, they still offer the discount to parents. Now, if you do that, okay, yes, you, you're going to get people to sign up for your camps, but in future you're not going to have that trust from parents because parents are going to think to themselves, do you know what, Leo's going to give me that discount anyway, even if I do it after this certain date. So being true to your word and sticking to your word is a way to get more parents to be urgent and take action with you. Because if you stick to that and you say, right, from the 9th of uh, April or the 9th of May or the 9th of July, whatever date it is, right, if you register before that date, then we will offer you a 50% discount on, on, on the camp. Now, if you register after the 9th, then that discount goes away and you're paying full price. Okay, so that just gives parents to, to realize, do you know what, I need to do this quickly before uh, the date runs out. Okay, so if this has helped you, Please like the video. Also, if you need any questions answered, go to the description below. You can book a call with me. Right at this point, I'm working with coaches one on one with their with their soccer training business. Currently working with coaches from all over the world. Okay, if you want to work with me, the first step we would have to do is you've got to visit the description below, book a free discovery call with me. It's a 15-minute call where we jump on Zoom. I ask you a couple of questions, and then I see if you qualify to get, to get my help. Okay, and then if you do, then we can move forward. I've got a number of services that I'm currently offering at the moment in terms of marketing, branding, selling out camps, uh, getting clients more committed to, to, to your program, setting up uh, subscription packages for your business, right? loads and loads of services that I can help you with. Uh, so don't stay stuck, visit the description below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, just stay up to date with all my latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.